are a part of research that can cure dreaded diseases such as cancer, HIV, heart diseases. We provide research expertise and services for the study of cellular mechanisms in the human genome. Yeah, I've been here for 27 years. My mother, she never graduated, and I think she had like a fourth grade education, and for me to graduate was a big deal. I realized that you know I had more potential, I had more confidence in myself, and I was able to pursue a career that could, you know, I could profit from and grow more. I met Jean Smith in 1992. Jean Smith came to my lab applying for a job as a technician. What is a research technician? I did not know, all I knew was that it was a better paying job and I was going to be using my mind instead of just my hands. So I applied and fortunately Dr. Pennell called me. She was just so energetic, so motivated in applying for this job that um, I went ahead and hired her. Once I entered the lab with Dr. Sue Pino, it was a whole different ball game. I said, okay, now it's not the time to stop, it's the time to keep moving on and progressing. She overlapped with the BS level person and learned cell culture, immunoassays, the cancer research that we were doing. Jean had a high school degree and was doing the work of someone with a college degree. One day she walked up to me and she said, Jean, do you think that uh, there are other people out there like you who don't have a degree but want to pursue a career, you know, have, be certified in something. And I said, sure, I'm sure. The only thing standing between the people who needed these good jobs and the good jobs was the education. And so we went ahead and started the Biotechnical Institute of Maryland. And this was all because of Gene. Jean showed how very, very possible it was and what kind of talent there is out there. It's so rewarding to see the effects of what I consider to be Jean's vision, <laughs> Jean's example in other people, in so many other people. I am so grateful that Dr. Sue Pino saw the potential in me, so that's why I try to see the potential in other people and motivate them and encourage them to pursue their dreams. I always tell young people that their environment is not a reflection on them. They have to you know, build up their own foundation. It's just so rewarding to me to see these successful technologists, technicians around Hopkins. And now I am a research technologist slash customer service coordinator with a BS in business and management. So voila, you can, <laughs> you can accomplish a lot here at Johns Hopkins. I promise to bring my enthusiasm, my commitment, my positive attitude, and my smile to my lab every day because what we do will save lives.